Now, onto the third tone. As you can see, this actually has two different forms. The big thick arrow is what's most commonly taught, where the sound distinctively goes down then up, something like this. Ma, ma. So there's sort of a little jump in the middle. So it goes ma. So that's how teachers usually teach new students, and it causes a lot of problems because the only time the third tone is ever pronounced this way is when it's pronounced in isolation. So you only say one syllable by itself. But the reality of the situation is you're going to say tones in combination with a bunch of others. And when you do that, which is probably 99% of cases, you're going to be saying the second type of third tone, which is the little dotted arrow there. And throughout this entire course, even if we're saying stuff isolated, we're still going to use this zombie tone. This is just a, this is what we call the proper third tone, the real third tone, if you like. So imagine a zombie just saying brains, brains, like kind of a low croaky voice. So this word here is actually in reality, 99% of the time going to be pronounced like this, ma, ma. Very short, low, but again, not too low. Don't try and do Pavarotti like we said. Oh, don't try and force yourself too low. Wherever you're comfortable, just ma. So if you do ever, in combination with other tones, say ma, then Chinese people will actually hear that rising bit at the end and they'll think you were saying a second tone, which might cause problems, it might not. But at the end of the day, it's not how Chinese people speak. And that's what we want to learn. Ma.